Hey, Yank Teacher Thoughts here, coming at you with another video. This is one of my new favorite wildflowers that I've been waiting to bloom. Uh, last year, I almost missed it. Uh, this year, I was like, you know, spring was a little early this year. Maybe I'll get out here and I'll see. So what we've got going on is a little lily. And this is called an avalanche lily. And it just is a gorgeous, really simple bloom. Uh, and they're really small. You know, this is, this is my hand for scale to those. Uh, so they've got a beautiful flower there. Let's see if we can get it to focus. There's a beautiful flower and some stamens and two leaves. And here are some lilies that decided not to bloom this year. And again, they're, they're fairly small. And I did a little research on these. And there are a lot of different types of avalanche lily. And uh, this is the yellow one that's here. And it's, it's all over. You know, as we come in, you know, it's right in through here. It's, hey, there's some wild strawberries there too. But this avalanche lily is all through here. And I think it's pretty. I like it. Um, it's one that I'm kind of looking forward to each spring now. Um, it's just, it's like a hidden gem. I know I've, I've talked to some locals and they're like, avalanche lily, what are you talking about? I'm like, oh, it's so cool. You've got to go look at it. Um, so if you're in the Kendrick area, come up the Speary grade and it's on the left-hand side after, oh, I think that's a, a corner there, but all along this this hill here uh, is the avalanche lily. So you can see that there's a bit more there, uh, and they they kind of like to be up on the hillside, so they're a little harder to get in there and see. Uh, but they are gorgeous. They are absolutely gorgeous. Definitely get a chance to check some of these out. So let's go see if we can find a few more that are a little bit lower. And there's some other things in here that I recognize. I didn't know that they were native here. Oh, oh yeah. Look at this. I don't know if you can see that, but up here, in this hillside, all up there is all avalanche lily. And let's go here and see if we can get another close up. Get something a little bit closer. Yeah, right in here. So they've been blooming just a little while because there's one that's already set seed. Let's get in there. There's more of those blossoms. And then there's another one here. Let's look down the throat of that one. There you go. Look at that, six stamens, definitely in the lily family. Two leaves. And as I look up this hill, they are just all over. And uh, doing a little research, I don't know if people eat this one, but the research that I found said that this was definitely an early forage uh, plant that deer fed on. So this is going to be uh, deer food, but I don't think it's people food. There's other things up here that are people food, but I don't know about this one. Oh, and it's interesting, interesting. So look at this, look at this. So right in through here, there is avalanche lily, but there's very little grass where the avalanche lily is. And then you come down here where there's lots of grass and there's no avalanche lily. So when you see stuff like that, it's either coincidental or it could be that the avalanche lily is putting off some sort of herbicide. Hmm, that would be interesting to find out. Here's a bit more of that avalanche lily. There you go, these are gorgeous. Get down here to one that's not quite open. That would make a great thumbnail. And then we'll come over here. I'll take some photos of these and turn them into thumbnails for this. Cause that is just a gorgeous lily. And it's so much fun to see this in bloom. Look forward to it each year, well, it's only the second year I've seen it, but uh, it is going to be one of those things that I do look forward to. Now, remember, this is all private property up here, so don't go tromping too far off the road. 
Um, I'm pretty much trying to just stay in the ditch and not get onto anybody's property. And again, like all wildflowers, leave them where they are, don't pick them. You start picking flowers like that and they're gonna disappear. Uh, they, just, they just don't last, they're not designed like a cut flower. Uh, but yeah, that's avalanche lily, a uh, early spring bloomer. I think we are March, it's either March 25th or March 26th today. I don't know. Uh, I think it's the 25th. But anyway, avalanche lilies in bloom up on the Speary grade in Kendrick. Uh, if you all are local, come out and check it. Uh, but I remember last time, once it starts to get warm, it disappears real quick. So that's probably a this week thing. Anyway, hope you learned something today. Ag Teacher Thoughts out.